Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can use film recipes to make your footage more cinematic straight from the camera. I will show you how to make your own and two recipes I made for myself and used recently, which I call Valencia and the Joker. Because I live in Valencia, Spain now for almost two years and film a lot here in harsh light, I made this recipe to reduce the contrast and harshness of midday sun. Make it more soft while also retaining details in the shadows and highlights and adding a retro look that I feel works so well with this city. But first, let me explain what film recipes are. We all know and love the film simulations Fujifilm provides with their cameras. Well, film recipes are a combination of film simulation and other settings. To create, well, more film simulations that are different than what Fuji provides and closer to your style. This is great for photography and there are a lot of sites with different recipes, but we will talk about that in another video. Today I will show you how to use this for a video. Why would you do this, you may ask? Well, let's say you want to see how a scene will look with a color grade that you had in mind for the final edit. You can make a recipe close to the color grade, go out, find locations and experiment at different hours with different lightning conditions and see how it looks. This can be such a powerful tool. Let me show you how to create your own and then show you my recipes. For this tutorial I used my X-T4, so these options are for x 4 sensors. Open the menu and go to movie settings. Scroll down to edit save custom settings. Here you will see 7 custom settings you can edit and save. Select one and then change the name in edit custom name and then click set. Now select edit and the first thing choose your film simulation. Let's go with Eterna. Next, the white balance. For some, you will want to start with the temperature and then with the white balance shift. Here is where you have the most influence on your color tone. For harsher scenes, use dynamic range 400. This will boost your ISO to 640, so you will need to use an ND filter. Next, let's set the highlights and shadows in the tone curve. Here you can reduce or increase them. Decreasing them can give you more detail in shadows and highlights and increasing them gives you more contrast. Next, depending on the film simulation you selected, add more or less color. Increase or decrease your sharpness, then choose if you want the camera to add noise reduction. I set mine to minus 4 and denoise in post. And that is it. Now hit the back button and save your film recipe. When you want to select it, just press the Q button and scroll right until you find your custom setting. And now for the Joker recipe. For this, I try to mimic the colors of some scenes in the movie The Joker. I think this works very well at blue hour and at night. Here is the recipe. This is a great feature to experiment with. Tell me in the comments below if you use this to create new filmic looks for your footage. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. This helps me grow my channel and make more videos like this for you to watch. Check out my presets and prints in the description below. See you next time.